so hi everyone if you are not knowing there has been a revolutionary release in the generative ai space that is called as a genesis world package which can now generate 4d physics simulations with given just a prompt so this is great so basically before this people used to say that for identifying fake or ai images or ai videos you need to look into the physics irregularities in the video like for example the shadow going deformed or the person moving in a inappropriate manner but now with this coming in even that proper prop, particular element is now removed and now you can generate perfectly fine physics simulation given just a prompt using generative ai the package looks great for now the team has released just the physics simulation engine so not the generative ai support but still we will be talking about it they have released some examples that they have generated given the prompts and they look just amazing so let's get started so talking about the key features as you can see here genesis is a comprehensive physics simulation platform for general purpose robotics embodied ai and physical ai universal physics engine lightweight ultra fast pythonic user friendly as we all have assumed fast photorealistic rendering i think this is very very important the quality of the simulation that is getting generated is 4d and is of the best quality a generative data engine that transforms user prompted natural language description into various modalities so this is the key and which has taken the world by storm also it has been trending on github for a very long time now and getting a lot of stars so before we jump on to the different things here are certain prompts here are certain types of simulations it can generate physically accurate and spatial consistent videos camera motions human and animal characters robotic manipulation fully interactive 3d scenes open world articulated object generation speech audio facial animation and emotion so we will be seeing certain examples from each of these categories but first of all there is a graph that the team has released which looks crazingly good so basically before coming of genesis these are the particular simulation engines that we have for physics the next best that is isaac gym is about 20 times slower than genesis world as you can see on the plot the red one so this is a great boost that the team has got and they are showing on different types of simulations plank and the franca arm franca arm is a type of a robotic arm if you don't know standing animal c six dof meshes so these are different types of simulations that they have generated and here you can see the speed the frames per second it is able to generate 10 cross 20 cross 81 cross times faster it's it's killing it speed comparison in popular cpu and gpu based robotic simulators now with this coming in you might be asking uh, what uh, it can be used for a lot of things the first thing that i can think of is for training robots you can now generate millions of data for training your robots and that to at a great speed apart from that physics simulations it might be in the future integrated with text to video models to correctly showcase physics elements the physics mechanism that are coming into the video so this is a great great achievement to be honest and can be a revolutionary release as well as you can see genesis generating 4d dynamical and physical worlds as you can see here to see the physics here it is breaking down at the bar once the tension increases so it is physically very very uh, correct now which is a big issue with generative ai videos character motion generation this is black king wakong if you have been into games you might be remembering this character uh, character motion generation is quite accurate and is of the high, highest quality if you look at the video quality is great and this is the prompt that team has passed so there is nothing done through coding a miniature wakong holding a stick in his hand spreads across the table surface of for 3 seconds even the time has been given jumps into the air and swings his right arm if you look into the detailing in the prompt and the video generated it's exactly the same and all the physics elements are looking correct in the video there are certain more examples that the team has uh, shared a japanese samurai performing boxing a chinese soldier performs the gangnam style dance a roman soldier walking forward like a zombie this is pretty good now here comes the robotic part thing the actual things that might come into the picture a mobile franca heats the corn with the bowl and the microwave 
Now here the movement of the arm is very very important as you can see it should not look irregular which happens uh, quite often with case of text to video models. If you have used Sora that has been released recently by OpenAI it had a lot of glitches like that. But in this case as you can see all the robotic arms are working perfectly fine and nothing is looking uh, AI generated because you can't make sense that it is looking it is a fake video. Apart from that they have given Many more examples, a unitary go to quad wrapped runs under the rain, a unitary H1 humanoid performing single foot hopping. This has to be correct. As you can see, one if you look into this particular video, the leg that is lifted is also moving slightly, which is very, very realistic. It might be the case that if you give the same prompt to our text to video generator, like say Sora or B8 Hunyon video, it might not be able to depict this part because this is the realistic elements that are coming in now. Many examples are there, quad wrap locomotion with various gates, quad wrap two feet hopping. So now these are four footed elements that they're coming into quad wrap performing hat stand with its two front legs. So now here you can see that you can't find any physical anomaly. And this is a great quality data that now you can generate for training your robots. 3D and fully interactive scene generation as you can see. A home, a home interior scene with a living room, including a dining space, a restroom, a study and a bedroom, a restaurant interior. Very good. I think the quality looks amazing uh, and the variety of uh, simulations it can generate is quite vast. As you call, as you can see, four footed, two footed robots can be generated. Any sort of a scene it can generate. So it looks crazily good. Soft robots. This is uh, very, very important can simulate generated soft or hybrid robots as well. So these are, if you look here, the certain elements that are going in here. Once the model moves, certain points at this point and at the back line, certain elements are moving. So this is physically very, very important that it doesn't look to be an anomaly. It has captured it quite correctly. This is also very exciting. Speech, audio, facial animation and emotion generation as you can see here, the facial expression as you can see the forehead is moving a bit when the person is speaking which is accurate. The jaw is moving in the right direction, the eyes are not moving that much, the neck is moving. So in terms of all the physics mechanism it is following the right things. The paper hasn't been released yet. Also uh, as mentioned the generative AI engine hasn't been released but the physics engine has been released. So without the prompt, if you know how to uh, work with Genesis, they have provided certain tutorials. You can generate this simulation as well. So without even uh, with the generative AI engine, this is quite exciting because you can code out and generate simulations for your bots for training purposes. If you look into the GitHub repo for uh, Genesis, they have given quite a straightforward detailed reasons on how to use a package and it's quite easy to use as well. Uh, unfortunately, not for Windows users. The, in that case, you need to follow a certain trick that I would be sharing in the upcoming video. I would be explaining a short code as well. But this is the particular GitHub repo that they have released Genesis Embodied AI Genesis. They have shared many examples here. It is the coding part when we will be jumping onto that in the next series. Uh, it's a little tricky because it's not your uh, easy plug and play sort of code. You need to think a little bit uh, because the generative AI part has not been released. As I've already mentioned, you need to code everything from scratch. A lot of things lowering the barrier to using physics simulations, unifying a wide spectrum state of the art physics solvers. As I already did, the variety is huge. Minimizing human effort and collecting and generating data for robotics. This is very crucial because robotics as a field uh, doesn't have a lot of data to play around it. So because uh, you may you will be making a lot of progress once a lot of data is available for training your models and stuff. So now I think this particular model solves a lot of problem. For us, they have gained multiple things here. All the technical part comes here. Speed is great about 43 million frames per second while simulating a Franca robotic arm. The white arm that we see in the video if you remember. Cross platform, it supports everything Linux, Mac OS, Windows. In Windows, the simulation is a problem, uh, like rendering of the video that I will be showing you how you can uh, 
have a workaround for that because I was facing certain issues with TriMash and there are certain issues with OpenGL. But I figured it out later on. And can work on CPU, GPU, AMD GPUs, Apple Metal. So the support is great. Unified physics solver, as more already said, rigid body, MPM, SPH, FEM, PBD. If you are into robotics, you might be knowing all these terms. Support a wide range of material models, support for a wide range of robots, photorealistic differentiability, physics-based tactical sensors, user friendliness. Looks great. How to install? Pip install Genesis World, as you can see. Uh, as I already told you, the generative AI pad engine is not released, so no API is required. You can get started with it straight away. You might not be able to use it on a Google Colab, unfortunately, because it doesn't have a rendering screen. So you need to test the model on your local system only. They have given certain examples that I would be sharing up with you soon. If you wish, we will be just jumping onto a few of them right now uh, from the documentation as you can see here and go to the G Hello Genesis part. So this is a Franco robotic arm as you can see here, which helps you generate. So this is the code that they have given on how you can generate this particular simulation. So just go through the code, it's quite easy, not that difficult. Import Genesis, you are here now mentioning the backend as CPU. If you have a GPU, you should go for a GPU. GS.scene show viewer is equals to true. So this will enable a, a rendering video on your screen. You would be able to see the simulation live. It adds a plane to the particular screen. So plane is basically these squares as you can see the X and Y axis, the 2D. Uh, it is adding the 2D plane add an entity it is adding the franca arm and then running it for thousand steps that's it so in a very basic thing this you will be able to generate and there are many more examples that the team has shared as you can see on the left hand side we'll be exploring a few of them soon thank you so much